I think I think the reason why this whole well, I'm, I'm, I don't think I know uh, the reason why this whole business with myself and Ackman's just just come back up is because you know, it, it, I mean, we didn't know at the time that uh, that Sweet Baby even had anything to do with Starfield. That was a new thing that came out. I didn't know that. I didn't know it when I did my video about them in in end of October or Alan woke too. <laughs> uh, or anything like that but it it doesn't matter the specific company these companies have always existed if it wasn't sweet baby ink it, it was anita Sarkeesian another, or correct. feminist frequency yeah or, or another one weird, yeah so so it, they're, they're just like uh, unfortunately for them fortunately for for the gaming industry and for us really they've just caught, caught all of this they've caught all of this fire right now uh, they've had a, 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 a an absolute spotlight shone shone right on them. Some of their employees have been uh, found out to be uh, DDoSers for Zoe Quinn, things like this. Um, I've just put out a video half an hour before the stream. Go check it out after the stream, um, where there was a 2019 developers conference that Kim Belair, the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc, went to, and. She just said all the fucking quiet bits out loud. Mm -hmm. All of them. She just told you exactly what they were there to do. She told you exactly uh, exactly how intersectionality works or how Sweet Baby Inc. utilize intersectionality. Right. And she, she literally said to, to the people... If you're not getting what you want from your higher ups, in terms of let's push some inclusion, let's push some diversity, sit down with the marketing department and terrify them. Yes, what she said, literal, literal, literal words, literally. terrify literally. them. Yep. Yeah, uh, and and then I uh, then we have that example of a tweet from Anita Sarkeesian that's now going around uh, from 2019, the same time as this conference with Sweet Baby Inc. and Kim Belair. And uh, she literally openly says to CD Projekt Red, hey, think you need to hire a consultant uh, to sort out your, sec you know, your, your, uh, uh, your, your sexism issues at uh, CD Projekt Red, which you're, I believe, known for in the past. And then, of course, it, what was it, 2022, Arsender 2022, CD Projekt Red, they do that whole video about your CD Projekt Red. We embrace ESG, uh, environmental, social, governmental. It's just like, ah, oh, that's how you do it. That's yeah. how you do it. It's 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 the feminist frequency, um, sweet baby ink grift. Get into a company, poison that company, get a, a hefty consultancy fee, push them onto BlackRock Vanguard because of an increased ESG score, get funding. That's yes. the grift. That is. It, it is uh, literal definition is what it is, a uh, grift. Because what this is, they recognize that there's money here in pimping large, pretty large uh, entities, like as far as the corporate side is concerned. There's a lot of money floating around, okay? Sure. And they are in the business of using sort of these intimidation tactics. And I think, again, yes, Sweet Baby Inc. started a couple of years prior to 2020. But I think mm -hmm. 2020 kicked this shit off in, like, the highest of the gear. Because everybody was in, like, this. they had this obsession with uh, virtue signaling. Every mm -hmm. a, a lot of these companies were taking these positions, fist in the air. Uh, we are not to racist. Video game. Can't play fucking. It doesn't matter what the game is. It's the, you got to accept some stupid fucking thing like he do you believe that black lives matter and all this shit and it's like what in the fuck i'm just trying to play soccer or whatever the <laughs> fuck like uh, who cares but that was th so that kicked really i'd say a demand and it's a fake demand but a demand nonetheless and then you have the sweet baby inks of the world and they recognize wait a minute wait just a minute you mean to tell me we can intimidate these folks you don't mm -hmm. want to be racist, right? You don't want to be sexist. You don't want to be homophobic. Oh. You don't want to be any of these things. Hire up. I do. <laughs> it's a badge of honor for you, ass. But for them, it's not. They say, 
Well, of course not. We don't want to be that. We we don't want to be racist. We don't want people to perceive us in this way. Okay, we will hire you to ruin our fucking product. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira.